Ground-based telescopes have given us an enhanced view of the stars, capturing more light than our eyes can perceive. Throughout history, numerous instruments have been created to study space, but none have come close to the scientific leap achieved by the James Webb Space Telescope. This telescope was literally designed to embark on a journey to the origin of the universe, and that is exactly what it has achieved. As far as exoplanets are concerned, we now have the official image of the City of Lights on Proxima b, a historic milestone that changes everything. In addition, 18 separate images are expected to be obtained, one for each mirror. But that's not all. Recently, the James Webb Telescope has captured the clearest image of another exoplanet. Join us as we explore this incredible discovery made by the James Webb Space Telescope and what it could mean for our future. If you're interested in keeping up to date with news from the universe and its surroundings, subscribe to our channel, be sure to like this video, and turn on the notification bell. Thanks to the James Webb, scientists will be able to look back in time to a time when the universe was only 200 million years old. The information we can obtain from this invention will probably allow us to go back in time and better understand the evolution of the universe. This is not all. The telescope is also capable of capturing images of some of the first galaxies that formed, allowing us to witness the first stars in the universe twinkling in the dark void of space. But how does the GWST achieve its amazing capabilities? Well, it has a huge 21-foot diameter mirror that captures and reflects light back to the spacecraft's instruments. Speaking of instruments, the James Webb has four of them, each designed to capture different types of light and provide a unique view of the universe. First, there is a near-infrared camera, which is the main camera and is directed to capture stunning images of distant galaxies, nebulae, and other cosmic wonders. We also have the near-infrared spectrograph, which breaks down light into its components to reveal more information about the observed objects. The mere infrared instrument is specifically designed to capture infrared light and study exoplanets in the Earth universe, and even our own solar system. There's nothing that escapes its observing capabilities. Finally, this wonderful telescope features the near infrared fine targeting sensor and a spectrograph, which is used for precise pointing and is very sensitive to near infrared light leaving no detail undiscovered. Now, you might wonder why NASA chose infrared for use with a James Webb telescope, especially when there are so many types of light available. The choice of infrared is due to several reasons. First, infrared allows penetration through cosmic dust and gas that would block visible light. In addition, infrared is ideal for studying cool objects, such as stars in formation, exoplanets, and distant galaxies. By using the infrared, the GWST can reveal details and features that would otherwise be difficult to detect using other ranges of light. The James Webb Telescope made history by capturing its first direct image of an exoplanet. This exoplanet named AHP 6542-6b was discovered in 2017 and is located at a distance 100 times greater from its host star compared to Earth. To observe this colossal gas giant, scientists used the James Webb Telescope and applied several filters. The images obtained were combined to create the resulting image of the exoplanet, an exciting achievement for astronomers. According to Sasha Hinke, an astronomer at the University of Exeter in the United Kingdom and leader of these observations, this moment is not only transformative for the Webb Telescope, but also for astronomy in general. What makes this exoplanet special is its size, approximately 12 times that of Jupiter and the great distance separating it from its host star. These features made it more feasible to capture a direct image using the Webb Telescope. However, direct imaging of exoplanets is not just about obtaining visually stunning images. It is about understanding the origins of exoplanets and exploring the possibility of life beyond our own solar system. These images could provide clues about how planets form and what kind of atmospheres they possess. This, in turn, could lead to the discovery of exoplanets with habitable conditions a gold pursuit for decades. While research so far has shown that there is little hope of finding a habitable planet, the fact that the James Webb Telescope has the ability to zoom in on planets means that if a habitable exoplanet exists, it will be the James Webb Telescope that will be the first one to discover it. If all of the above was impressive, what happened next exceeded all the expectations. Scientists announced that the James Webb Telescope has successfully observed the oldest galaxies known to mankind. These galaxies formed when the universe was just a baby, 
representing just 2% of its current age. The amazing thing is that these four galaxies are the most distant ever observed, located at a staggering 13.4 billion light years away from us. Let's reflect that for a moment. The light emitted by these galaxies took 13.4 billion years to reach our telescopes. That is an almost unimaginable distance. Despite this, the James Webb Telescope has managed to observe them and capture images of what they looked like more than 13 billion years ago. The process of observing these ancient galaxies was not an easy task. First, scientists had to identify them, which is not easy considering how far they are. However, thanks to the infrared capabilities of the Webb Telescope, it was able to pick up the faintest signals and, as a result, researchers will be able to identify these four galaxies. But the identification of the galaxies was just only the beginning. To confirm the true age of these galaxies, the scientific team had to analyze the data collected by the James Webb Telescope's near-infrared spectrograph and measure the redshift of these galaxies. As mentioned above, the redshift is a measure of how much the wavelengths of light emitted by an object have lengthened as the universe expands. The higher the redshift, the farther away the object is from us and the older it is. The redshift of these galaxies was measured to be 13.2, the highest ever recorded, indicating that they are the oldest galaxies known. It is difficult to overstate the importance of this discovery. These galaxies formed even before the first stars originated in our own galaxy. The Webb Telescope has managed to capture images of these galaxies, giving us a glimpse into the earliest days of the universe. This kind of discovery has the potential to transform our understanding of the cosmos and challenge our current conceptions. In addition to this exciting achievement, there has been recent interest among researchers in the possibility of the Webb Telescope capturing the sharpest images of city lights, a projection of human activity on Earth. Although this may seem like a difficult challenge, the conditions for doing so are favorable. For example, the closest star to the Sun, Proxima Centauri, is a red dwarf located at a distance of 4.25 light years. This is where astronomers enjoy the planet Proxima b, which lies in the habitable zone of its star, and is believed to be in a tidal lock configuration, with one side permanently illuminated by day and the other side in darkness. If there's a technological civilization on Proxima b, they may have covered the day side of the planet with photovoltaic cells to generate electricity and provide illumination, which would also heat the night side. This is where the James Webb Space Telescope comes into play. In a recent scientific paper, researchers demonstrated that the James Webb Telescope could detect city lights on the permanent night side of Proxima b, even if the artificial lighting is as dim as what we used on the night side of Earth. The Webb Telescope would be able to detect it as long as it was restricted to a frequency band a thousand times narrower than starlight. In addition, NASA's proposed future space telescopes such as ultraviolet and optical infrared will be even more sensitive to fainter levels of artificial illumination on Proxima b side. The idea that there can be lights on the planet more than four light years away is amazing, and it is a reminder that there is still so much to discover in the universe. With telescopes like the James Webb, we are one step closer to understanding everything that goes on in our own solar system and distant galaxies. The James Webb Telescope stands out as the premier global observatory in the field of space science. Its mission is to investigate the enigmas surrounding both our own solar system and distant worlds orbiting remote stars, and to delve into the complex structures of our universe and the role we play in it. In a recent initiative, scientists directed the Webb Telescope toward a star located at a distance of 120 light years from our solar system. This time, the Super Telescope has revealed evidence for the existence of carbon based molecules in the atmosphere of a possible ocean world outside our planet, which has baffled the astronomical community. How is this surprising revelation possible? This finding provides a fascinating glimpse of a planet that differs significantly from any other within our solar system, and raises interesting questions about the possibility of potentially habitable worlds in other corners of the vast universe. Join us on this journey to discover more details about this exoplanet. If you're interested in keeping up to date with news about the universe and its surroundings, subscribe to our channel, be sure to like this video, share it to reach more people, 
and turn on the notification bell. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has made a relevant discovery regarding the exoplanet K218b, which has a mass 8.6 times that of Earth. This finding consists in the identification of the presence of carbon compounds, such as methane and carbon dioxide, in the atmosphere of this exoplanet. Webb's discovery adds to previous research suggesting that K218b may be a planet with characteristics conducive to life, as it appears to have a hydrogen-rich atmosphere and an ocean-covered surface. The first exploration of the atmospheric properties of this exoplanet in the habitable zone was carried out using NASA's Hubble Space Telescope, which transformed our understanding of this system. It is important to note this exoplanet is located at a distance of 120 light-years from Earth, located in the constellation Leo, orbiting a cool dwarf star called K218, which is within the habitable zone. These exoplanets, such as K218b, which are between the size of Earth and Neptune, are a rare category in our solar system due to the lack of similar planets in close proximity. The possibility that K218b is an exoplanet with a significant abundance of carbon and a hydrogen-rich atmosphere is intriguing to astronomers, as some experts believe that these worlds could offer ideal conditions for searching for signs of life on exoplanets. The presence of methane and carbon dioxide, along with the absence of ammonia, supports the theory this exoplanet could harbor an ocean beneath a hydrogen-rich atmosphere. Early discoveries regarding that exoplanet also raised the possibility of detecting a chemical called dimethyl sulfide. This compound is generated only by life on Earth, with most of the dimethyl sulfide present in the atmosphere resulting from phytoplankton activity in marine environments. However, the interference of presence of dimethyl sulfide in the atmosphere of K-12b is less robust and requires further confirmation. Further observations from the telescope network should be able to verify whether dimethyl sulfur is present in K-218b's atmosphere at significant levels, an astronomer at the University of Cambridge explained. Although K-218b is in the habitable zone and has been shown to contain carbon compounds, this does not automatically imply that the planet is capable of harboring life. The fact that it has a radius 2.6 times that of Earth suggests that its core is probably surrounded by an immense, high-pressure mantle of ice, similar to that of Neptune. It also possesses a thinner, hydrogen-rich atmosphere, along with an ocean-covered surface. Although oceans of liquid water are expected on this exoplanet, there is a possibility that the ocean is too rigid or inadequate to support life. However, the researchers have managed to obtain the most detailed spectrum to date of a habitable sub-Neptune, which has allowed them to identify the molecules present in its atmosphere, a member of the Cardiff University team explained. This challenge was met by analyzing the light coming from K218b's host star as it passed through the exoplanet's own atmosphere. K218b is what is known as a transiting exoplanet, meaning that its brightness decreases as it passes in front of its host star. In fact, this is how NASA's K2 mission was able to detect this exoplanet. This approach implies that a small portion of sunlight passes through the atmosphere of exoplanets before reaching space telescopes, such as the Webb telescope, during these transits. When sunlight passes through an exoplanet's atmosphere, it leaves traces or signals that astronomers can gather to estimate the gases present in that atmosphere. The research team plans to conduct further investigations using the telescope's mid-infrared spectrograph, which will confirm their findings and provide new information about the climatic conditions on K218b. Their ultimate goal is to search for signs of life on habitable exoplanets, an achievement that could revolutionize our understanding of the universe. In addition, the super-powerful telescope has also made other notable discoveries. Astronomers using the James Webb Space Telescope have found complex organic molecules, similar to a kind of smoke or smog, in a distant galaxy. This finding represents the earliest known example of complex organic molecules in the universe detected by humans. Personally, I find it astonishing and at the same time disturbing that these findings in the far reaches of the universe are transforming the foundations of our cosmology. This discovery is truly shocking, and here is the reason for its importance. First, these chemicals, 
technically called aromatic hydrocarbons, have been identified in a galaxy that formed when the universe was about 10% of its present age. These carbon-based molecules are found in petroleum and coal deposits on Earth, as well as in atmospheric pollution, such as smog. What makes this discovery especially intriguing is that the molecules found are not simple like water or carbon dioxide, but are large, complex molecules with dozens or even hundreds of atoms in their structure. It is amazing that the universe was able to create such large and complex molecules so quickly after the Big Bang, which defined expectations based on our cosmological models. To put it in perspective, the light that astronomers detected from this early galaxy began its journey less than 1.5 billion years after the Big Bang, whereas the universe is approximately 13.8 billion years old today. That means that we are observing the first steps in the formation of the universe as we know it today. What is most impressive is that this detection is due to the Webb telescope, which will allow us to make observations of this type for almost a billion more years. If we could look even further back in time, would it be possible to find more of these molecules, even much closer to the Big Bang? This raises fundamental questions about our science and our cosmological model. Until now, previous efforts to detect complex organic molecules in ancient galaxies could only tell us whether or not the chemicals were present. However, with Webb's ability to provide higher resolution, we can now see the real details of where these molecules are found. Furthermore, the non-uniform presence of these molecules in the early galaxy SPT-04-1847 has yet to be fully explained. However, what is truly impressive is that this galaxy was already just as massive as our own, and its stars have generated as much carbon and oxygen as the stars of our Milky Way, despite being only one-tenth the age of our galaxy. As humanity ventures into the unknown, armed with knowledge and a deep seed of understanding, we are humbled by the vastness and complexity of the cosmos. With each scientific breakthrough, we move one step closer to unraveling the mysteries hidden among the stars. As our cosmic exploration network works, it is only a matter of time before the universe reveals new secrets and shines with renewed light. James' achievements on the web have exceeded our expectations, consisting of a 6.5 meter mirror, a sun shield the size of a tennis court, and a complex array of instruments cooled temperatures near absolute zero. The telescope observes the sky in infrared radiation, revealing details of the universe just after its birth 13.8 billion years ago. It captured images of stars born in clouds of dust and collect faint light from the deep bits of the universe, exploring its darkest corners. The infrared instruments of the space-time network are also useful for studying strange and bizarre worlds. In particular, James Webb has focused on Proxima b, capturing the sharpest image of our closest known neighboring exoplanet. What's fascinating is that what he has revealed goes beyond our expectations. In January 2024, we have reached a remarkable milestone in our understanding of the universe. For millennia, humans have observed the sky, wondering about points of light in apparent infinity. Just three decades ago, we began to discover planets orbiting other stars through a variety of methods. Now, 55 confirmed exoplanets and 10,000 additional candidates. We are in a new era of astronomy, exploring fascinating and diverse worlds beyond our own solar system. Planet formation exhibits remarkable diversity, determined by a number of factors including the chemical composition, geological activity, and atmospheres. When findings point to the presence of worlds with chemical elements even superficially related to life, the discoveries are significant, providing answers to some of our questions about the cosmos. However, deeper questions remain. In this context, the mission of the James Webb Space Telescope is focused on exploring the atmospheres of exoplanets for signs of life in other corners of the universe. Although James Webb is an infrared telescope, which raises the question of its suitability for studying exoplanets, it will use a transit method for this purpose. This method involves observing the light from a star as a transiting planet passes between the star and us. 
Collaboration with ground-based telescopes will complement this research by allowing measurements of the mass of planets using the radio velocity technique, which detects the slight wobble induced by a planet's gravitational tuck. In addition, this web will perform spectroscopy of planetary atmospheres and carry coronagraphs to obtain direct images of nearby exoplanets. Although these images may appear to be simple points of light, their detailed analysis will reveal valuable information, such as color variations that may indicate seasonal or rotational differences in vegetation. Spectroscopy, which involves measuring the intensity of light at different wavelengths, is fundamental to unraveling the atmospheric compositions of exoplanets. When a planet transits in front of a star, starlight passes through its atmosphere, and the elements in compounds present in the atmosphere absorb light at characteristic wavelengths. This absorption is reflected in the observed spectrum, making it possible to identify the presence of elements such as sodium, methane, or water. An infrared telescope is essential for characterizing the atmospheres of these exoplanets because many of the gases relevant to the search for life, such as water and carbon dioxide, emit and absorb light in the infrared range. In addition, this wavelength provides valuable information about the temperature and chemical composition of the atmospheres, which contributes significantly to our understanding of the habitability of these distant worlds. Observation in the infrared spectrum offers the advantage that the molecules present in the atmospheres of exoplanets exhibit a wide range of spectral characteristics. The ultimate goal is to discover a planet with an Earth-like atmosphere, and in this effort, to find an Earth 2.0, though the James Webb Telescope has turned its attention to Proxima b. This enigmatic exoplanet, located light years away, is the closest known neighbor. Proxima Centauri b is a super-Earth orbiting an M-type star with a mass approximately 1.27 times that of Earth and an orbital period of 11.2 days. This planet lies at a distance of about 0.085 astronomical units from its star within the habitable Sun. However, the extreme intense ultraviolet radiation it received from its star poses challenges to habitability as this radiation can erode the atmosphere and compromise the presence of elements essential for life, such as oxygen and nitrogen. The habitability of a planet depends not only on its location in the habitable zone, but also on the ability of its atmosphere to maintain conditions suitable for life, such as climate regulation, radiation protection, and preservation of necessary chemical components. In addition to Proxima b, James Webb is also interested in other exoplanets, such as WAPS 107b and the Wandering Worlds of the Orion Nebula, which challenge our conventional conceptions of planetary formation. These recent discoveries have opened up new questions about the formation and diversity of objects in the universe, challenging our existing theories and stimulating continued explorations of the cosmos. We were on the lookout for astronomical tiny objects, and we have found them, even as small as half of mass of Jupiter, floating freely in space, unbound to any star. Physics tells us that objects of such a small scale should not exist, but we seem to have that defined those laws. These bodies, which are technically not planets, have been duped Jupiter mass binary objects because several of those identified come in pairs. Although these two jumbos are two of a million years old, which is very young in astronomical terms, their first surface temperatures reaching a scoring a thousand degrees Celsius, although they will eventually cool. Although these objects may exhibit interesting atmospheric features, such as the presence of steam and methane, they are not considered capable of harboring extraterrestrial life as their surfaces could not sustain liquid water, even during their brief period of moderate temperature. These observations have focused on the Orion Nebula, a region of massive star formation located 
1,344 light years away from Earth. This nebula, visible to the naked eye as a fuzzy star in the sword of the constellation Orion, is a celestial spectacle filled with clouds of dust and gas where explosions and gravitational collapses occur and give rise to formation of stars and other celestial objects. The most recent findings have puzzled astronomers, especially the presence of numerous pairs of Jupiter-sized objects. The question of how these objects can be flown out of a star to orbit in chaotic interactions and then rejoin remains an enigma. Even experts like Professor Matthew Bate, head of astrophysicists at the University of Exeter, acknowledged that they have no definitive answer to this anomaly. It seems that our current theories are not sufficient to fully explain these new findings. There is an unknown mechanism that is sharpening these objects, something we have not yet considered. This type of discovery is quite unusual and challenges in our understanding of star formation, an area we thought we understood quite well. It is a surprising result from which we can learn more about. Let us know what you think in the comments box. If you liked the video, remember to like it. Share it so it reaches more people and subscribes so you don't miss out on more content like this.